Hey guys and welcome to Introduction to Game Maker Studio 2. This is going to be a small kind of running series on my channel where I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Game Maker Studio 2 um, to make cool games that uh, are 2D, mainly 2D. Maybe I'll go over 3D eventually, but I still have to look more into that myself. Anyways, so the first off, why Game Maker Studio 2? Now, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say to point this out here as you can tell I'm using a slideshow because I'm lazy in editing sometimes um, But this is these are important things that you should probably address you can check out You can read everything on here yourself if you want to there'll be a link in the description But basically game maker studio 2 is good for 2d games Whereas other games systems like unity are good for 3d and it's also cheaper um, Next off uh, the goal what I want to do. I want to show you guys some cool little like tips and Thing, ways to do things rather than actually showing you how to um, how to make a specific game where I see a lot of tutorials on Game Maker Studio 2 where they're showing you how to make a game which are great and they do teach a lot but they kind of limit your uh, your creativity and creating your own games because you should really be forced to uh, look at something get learn something new and then try to create something with that new thing which is what I try to do when I'm going through those tutorials so I'm just making one that is uh, centered around that. So each week I'm going to have a new video and possibly a new challenge for you to try and create, not necessarily a game, but just a little thing using the, the highlighted topic in the video. Uh, so yeah, that's exactly what I said. So then the program, so you gotta go to yoyogames.com slash get, uh, which is right here. And the lucky for you guys, they updated their uh, the way the platform works so you can download a free trial which they always had and it has a limited amount of assets you can use but there's actually quite a bit you can use and i don't think you'll need anything more so you just click this button you can do it with me you go to the website the link will be in the description as well you click get free trial you create you sign up for your account and then you download it and you go through the installation okay now if you want to have all access to as many assets as you want you can pay 39 dollars to have all the accesses uh, all the access to everything you want uh, for the game and the functionality um, or you can pay a hundred dollars if you want to be able to publish the game okay that's pretty much it i'm using the developer version because i got it back when there was only the developer version so that's just how it is now back into this so yeah, now we're going to go over the basics of the system. <laughs> That's all I did. I am very lazy today. Anyway, so once you download and install it, and pause the video if you want to, go download, install it. This is where we're going to talk about the actual system. All you got to do is click New, and I'm going to show you guys in Game Maker language, but we're not going to go over any of that today. We're just going over the, the basics of the system and what everything is, um, but we're not really going to be going over any coding. But do Game Maker language. Drag and drop sounds cool, but it's a lot more confusing to go through. And there is some limitations to it due to the fact that it's drag and drop, so you don't have, um, you don't have as much freedom. So we're just going to call this example. You can call it whatever you want. So this is what you're going to be met with: just a big blank screen, right? So there's all these things on the side, and actually, this is a lot simpler than some of the other programs. Um, but we're going to go over what each of these things are. So the way that making a 2d game works in this system is you have this room right and this room is where the game is going to take place when you click play right here this button that says run it's just going to show you just wait for it it's going to show you this room and the room is empty okay and um, you can do things in the room by adding objects to the room you can add tiles to the room these are some of the things we're going to talk about so if you want to create something with an image anything that has a picture it's called a sprite so you're going to go to this sprite tab and you can create a sprite and here is your they have like a in a lot of editing systems to create sprites inside the program already so you don't have to pull up photoshop you don't have to do anything they have a lot of uh, good ways of editing this you can animate the sprites um go over here and then you hit play and boom you have animations right so you can animate the sprite you can make things look cool i'm just going to take a big brush make a big green cube right so you don't have to follow along with me i'm just showing you what these are so you have a sprite and it's just a good habit to right click it and go to rename to rename it or rename it somehow um, call it spr or sprite whatever you want in the beginning so that you know that it's a sprite and then the name of it right 
So we have these sprites. Sprites are going to be images. So sprites are any time that we want an image to be on the screen. It's got to be a sprite first, okay? So then we have something called tile sets, okay? Tile sets are just images. Like, it's just putting images in the game. So a sprite is an image, and a tile set is a set of images you're just going to put in the game. And that was loud in my ears, okay? So we're going to go to the tile sets, and if we create a tile set and we assign a sprite, it's taking the image that we made here and it's saying, well, this is going to be what we're going to use to just paste to the background of the game. So inside the room, and you don't have to actually see what I'm doing exactly because we'll go over it in detail, but I'm just trying to show you what they're supposed to do. So see here, I can paste this to the back, and this these tiles have pretty much nothing to do with, with the actual game. They're mainly for looks, but it's really easy to draw a room if you wanted. Uh, if you wanted to draw it out, boom, I got a room like that, right? So you can just draw it using these tile sets in almost like a larger version of sprite creation because here you have pix you can kind of imagine these as pixels or however you want. So we have tile sets which take images and turn them into something you can just paste onto the canvas of your map, okay? So sprites and tile sets, okay? Then we have sounds which I would hope you know what a sound is. Um, <laughs> it's audio for your map. Um, it's what you think it is. Um, and we have something called paths, which we're not going to go over right now. It's a way more complicated, as you can see. Um, but there's paths. They're a little more complicated. Scripts are um, a set of commands that you want to happen more than once. So if you have, if you want <laughs> the game, if you want, say, a little image of a guy and you want that guy to um maybe you want the guy to jump up and down well you maybe you're going to create a script to make the guy jump up and down um, so it just makes your code simpler because you're taking a, a portion of your code that happens repetitively like or a lot of times and you're shrinking it into just one line so we'll go over that probably in the next episode shaders that's a little more complicated but it's just so that your entire map can be tinted a certain way or parts of your map can be tinted a certain way um, fonts that's text fonts um, you want your font to look in the map or like in the map at a specific point you want your text to look a certain way you can use fonts um, that's a little bit it's not as useful for most things timelines again something that we're not going to go over because they're used for very specific reasons um, and then objects. So the two most important things are sprites and objects. So objects are things you can place in your room. Sprites are images that you use in the throughout the whole game. So here we have an object and we'll call it obj underscore test, right? The object is going to use an image so that it looks like something. So this object only looks like something because it's using that sprite. And now we actually have something in our room that we can play around with. We can add maybe some code to make it so we can move it and jump and run or whatever you want to do. Um, but objects are things that you can add code to to make them actually do things. Um, so the sprites are like, if <laughs> if we're comparing it to um, some, some game that maybe you guys are familiar with called Minecraft, if you're comparing it to that, sprite is kind of like your resource pack objects are like anything that's physically in the game like a block or something right so objects of things sprites are images tile sets are sets of images um, that you use to paint a canvas okay and then rooms you can have multiple rooms and you can move players between rooms that's fun <laughs> that's how you have multiple rooms and multiple levels We'll go into that in specific options. This is where you can like um, set different configurations. So most of the time you want 60 frames per second, right? Because that's what most games run at. Um, you can change images and graphics. You can make things look better or behave a certain way and how they're displayed. And then configurations, you know, those are just some more settings. But the most important thing to take out of this is we have sprites, which are images, and we have objects, which are things, okay? And then also, I guess, tile sets, which are sets of images we can paste on the background. Um, so if you didn't know already, this this uh, this uses something called... Uh, it basically uses some weird form of C++ slash Java um, with if statements. If you don't know what these are, don't worry. But, you know, it has basic stuff. If, switch, 
uh, variable assignments as basic coding, which I will make sure that you guys understand it. If you don't, it's okay. Don't be scared. Um, it's really easy to learn. You just have to memorize some sh basic words like if. <laughs> so, I mean, can you memorize the word if? Yes, I'm, I'm sure you probably can, or maybe you can't. Um, so yeah, pretty basic. Now over here, this is just a room property. So you can change the size of the room. You can um, make it so that the camera only sees a certain part of the room using viewports. You can make it so the camera follows a specific thing in the room using the object following. Um, there's some cool stuff there that we'll go over in a video as well. So that's pretty nice. So I said that I would try to add a challenge each time. So I didn't really show you guys really anything. So all I want you to try doing is create a sprite, right? Any sprite you want. Um, and name it like sprite character, okay? So create a sprite. Click on this little resize sprite and change your canvas to a 16 by 16. So the little resize is going to let you change the size of the canvas. So now we're making a 16 by 16. Ready? All you have to do is click edit image. Don't worry about anything else. And try and make like a little character for yourself that looks decent that you can live with. Okay. <laughs> so I will make something for uh, for me to use in this example, but I'm not going to give it to you guys to use. I want you to make something that you want to use um, for your supposed game or test. I mean, I call them tests because I never make them into actual games. I just play around with them uh, and see what I can do. So make like a little character for your quote unquote test and before the next episode, hopefully, or right now even, and then make it have not only like one state, uh, try to make it have a few states. So make it so you can see it from, uh, the front make it so you can see it from the side um, so make like multiple sprites you can put them you can create more sprites here or you can click here and click the new button and you can make like another frame um, but try and make some characters using sprites so that that should be interesting um, try it out it takes some time to get into sprite making especially if you're making something bigger than 16 by 16 trust me it takes me forever i don't know you guys might be better than i am um, but yeah so try and make some sprites before the next one and uh I hope that was useful. If you guys are still confused about things, it's just the beginning. Hopefully you like that. If you like it, leave a like on the video. Leave a comment uh, with, a, you can leave a comment with a link to your GIMP image. <laughs> I don't know, something that might not break YouTube and make me have to approve the comment system. Um, but you can leave a comment and I'll check it out and be like, hey, that's pretty good. Anyways, guys, thanks for showing up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.